that's our little little tiny home Airbnb. Previously on ENJ Go Away. We spent almost three weeks in Boquete because, well, because of a lot of reasons that you can find in our top 10 places to visit video found in the link above. But all good things must come to an end. Today we are leaving Boquete en route to La Ermita, where we will spend one week working out of a tiny house that we found on Airbnb. You're going to see our non-work time because, quite frankly, no one wants to watch us staring at a computer. What you doing over there? Just sitting at my office desk. Saren's office area. We have to take a one-hour bus from Boquete to David, and then we'll catch one more bus to La Ermita, which is about two hours west of Panama City. We have no clue what the bus or van will be like, but we're hoping for a bigger bus since it'll take about four and a half to five hours to get to our destination. We are on our way to Playa Blanca where we are going to get an Airbnb. Look at our seats. We just arrived in La Ermita and kind of out in the boondocks in our tiny house. So I'm gonna come show you around. It is super cute. We have our kitchenette here. Has everything that we need. Very nice, very clean bathroom. You can't tell because lighting's terrible, but it's a bathroom and it's nice. And just kind of a studio style apartment. That is the most exciting thing about the entire thing. Netflix and chill. <laughs> you asked for it, you're gonna get it. Tonight we are making a local dish. We are going to grill some Panamanian fish. We got a snapper and something else that I don't know the name of it because they told it to us in Spanish and I have no clue what it is. But we're going to stuff it with some local herbs that are actually on the property where we're staying at right now. Here we go. Here we have Culantro, very similar to cilantro. And don't worry, we definitely got permission from the owners to be able to do this. These don't really have a name for them. We were told that they're just called chilies. So we're gonna stuff the fish with a few of these chilies as well. How lucky are we? They have lemongrass on the property. Hello, doggies. Hello. Oh, gross, dude. Yeah, nasty. Okay, cool. Yep. You got the wrong person. You got the wrong one. Jordan's the animal lover. Jordan's the lover of animals, not me, bro. Come and put your nasty mouth on me. All right, let's get off the lemongrass and get away from these. Oh, it smells so good. Now that we have all of our ingredients together, we are going to stuff the fish with lemongrass, garlic, chilies, culantro, onion, and lime. We're gonna season the outside of it with salt, pepper, garlic. One of them with a grill seasoning, the other with curry powder. To go on top of the fish, I'm gonna make a nice pineapple salsa. garlic no biggie all right we are ready to stuff the fish fish number one that we had scaled and gutted for us at the fish market a red snapper look at that beauty we're just gonna give her a quick little rinse and then stuff her Cool. 
ahead and get us some banana leaves. Banana tree. I think this looks like a good one. There we have it. I'm gonna try this out. I'm gonna cut off a little bit of this branch and I bet that would make great twine. I am beyond excited for this meal tonight. We are going to be grilling out two whole fish. We're wrapping them in banana leaves that came from the property that we're staying on that Jordan's cutting down right now. But I'm super excited about this fish. I'm just over the moon excited that we personally are wrapping fish in banana leaves and we're gonna put them on a grill. Um, this is like a foodies, um, a home cooks like, dream. You got the goods? Got the goods. And I bet we can use the uh, like branch part of it as string to tie a leaf around the fish. Or we can at least try. It's <laughs> so cool. Alright. to do it like uh, Christmas wrapping paper whenever you don't have quite enough. Exactly. <laughs> I feel so indigenous. <laughs> air conditioning. Oh, yeah. nice. My air conditioning. With my Gas. air conditioning and my Wi-Fi. <laughs> okay, but I'm pretty happy with myself that I thought really to cool. thought to do that part. What are you talking about? You thought to do it. Okay. Our host told us to. No, the the tying. Oh, okay. Yeah. Of the that is super cute. Ah! I'm so happy. I promise this space isn't for the cameras and putting it on. I'm like. You want to get a picture of me? really smoky like you really get the the grill part of it I don't get any of the herbs just yet you do maybe it was just a little piece that you touched of the lemongrass mm, a little crispy fishtail <laughs> can I try the, uh, the second one just a couple drops Mmm, I really get the lemongrass on that one. I love that one. Mmm, that's the curry one. But boy, do I get all that herbaceousness from that. You want to offer them a couple bites? Lemongrass, yeah. You want to go take them some now? Yeah. I'll go get a plate. Well, Jay, what do you think? Good. I'm very excited that we got to cook with uh, banana leaf for the first time. That's pretty exciting. And uh, how much did these two fish cost us? Seven dollars? I was going to say eight. Yeah, I think it was seven. Seven? Maybe seven fifty. Yeah. Um, for two entire fish. Eating like a king. Thank you, Panama. We love you. <laughs> That's it for us tonight, folks. We are gonna go devour the rest of these amazing fish. I uh, 
Ooh, Jordan just took it off the spine and it looks amazing. We're finished. Hey everybody, before we get to the bloopers, and trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around because they're embarrassing, stupid, ridiculous, something else. We need to give a huge shout out to Lacey Strebel Snyder, who is a patron at the Not For Grandma level. Sorry, Grammy and Mossan. That means she gets to see behind the scenes content that no one gets to see on this channel because it's a little racier. Thank PG-13 and Rated R. You too could see additional scenes from this very episode starting at just $3 a month. You can go to the Patreon link that is listed below. We hope that you all join because it's a lot of fun being involved in stuff that not everybody else gets to see. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know this is what a single cashew looks like growing on a cashew tree? Well, now you do. I'm filming a scene. On top of the camper? It's a good view. Oh, I know that. It's just you a different view. Just be careful. Please. I am. All right. <laughs>